Hello everybody, it's me, it's only me again, Emily with another video showing what I get up to in a week running my Etsy shop. Starting off the week, packing some orders, uh, cutting some card. I have to cut a lot of card and I never really show it because um, I think out of all the, the things of running an Etsy business, cutting card is my least favourite part. I really don't enjoy doing it, but it gots, gots to get done, hasn't it? I usually I just beg, steal and borrow card from wherever I can get. My boyfriend has access to a lot of cards, so he, he, he gets a lot of it for me. But yeah, cutting it up, it's not, it's not a thing which I enjoy. Uh, anyway, what have we got here? Little cat. I'm going to prepare you. This video is a lot of cats. Oh, there's my dad. He's cutting cardboard for me because he knows how much I despise it. Plus, I c it takes ages to cut cardboard. I can have a good hour-long ca card cutting session and it'll last me maybe a couple of weeks to, to get through the card which I've cut. So, dad helping me out was was a big help. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying before? Prepare yourself for this video because it's a lot of cats. This week was basically, well, the whole week is just cats. I had, I think I've painted five cats in a row. But I think next week is a week full of dogs. <laughs> Kind of funny how they all came in a row without a dog in between. Go through the order of how they came, it was like cat, dog, cat, cat, dog, dog, cat, cat. And then it got to this week and it was like cat, 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 cat. And then next week it's dog, 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 dog. Maybe it's just because I've painted them a more than dogs. I think I find cats a little bit easier than dogs because I feel like cats kind of all look the same. Obviously they have different colours to them and different coloured eyes, but the general structure of a cat is really similar but like dogs can look really different to each other so each dog I've painted is like obviously quite different to the last but cats even though they're different colours usually they they kind of all look similar. Coming up with some background designs I tried this yellow design but just was not feeling it I didn't like the colours I didn't really think it matched nicely with the cats then I tried this lighter blue shade and I thought oh it's looking quite nice this and then it ended up just using the yellow as uh, an accent colour um, and I think that works nicely because it kind of matches with the cat's eyes because one of the cats has got yellow eyes which matches the background while yellowy green and then the other cat's got more of a bluey green eye colour which matches the the blue background so yeah I was really happy with this background actually so here are all the ones I came up with came up with some flower ones and then just some rainbow star ones uh, but this one is my favorite and then she asked me to combine these two designs together because she wanted the half tone split like in half color design but just with lighter the lighter colors from um, the other design I showed her so here I am painting it painting away I paint all the backgrounds in acrylic paint and here I am with my right angled ruler because I've got to get those precise lines and that, those precise angles, 90 degrees, that's what I want in my paintings. <laughs> I paint all the backgrounds in acrylic paint, um, Windsor & Newton, that's the brand I use. Um, I think they're nice but I haven't really used any other acrylic paint so I don't have anything to compare them to and obviously I paint the animals in watercolour. I think the acrylic and the watercolour go together really nicely because the acrylic are doing like quite a flat block colour and then the watercolour is all like layered up and obviously a lot of shading and I just think they complement each other very nicely. Sometimes I go in with detail with just coloured pencils. Oh, speaking of pencils, I had a very exciting delivery this week because uh, I, I got some pencils, not any old pencils you'll see in a second. These are the petals to resistance of pencils. <laughs> but I thought I'd show me unboxing them because, um, I don't know, it's not really Etsy shop related but it's just quite nice to see. So here you go. <laughs> Okay, I've got an audience today because all my family are in my room because they want to watch me open this. What's, hello. What, hello. Uh, Mum, are you saying hello? hello? And this is an exciting package because inside this box, well, there's some pencils. I know it don't sound exciting, but to me, this is like, I've been wanting these for like years. Right, so these are the pencils I have now and I've had these for nearly four years. I got them in year 11 and... They, in my in my opinion, these are the best pencils money can buy. 36 pencils in this one and I finally upgraded and I've got the 120 set of pencils and I know that's a ridiculous amount of pencils. <gasps> oh, oh, I hit my knuckles. Look at, the, look at the width, mighty. Here we go. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Give us a drum roll. Yeah, give us a drum roll. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Oh, look at how pretty they are. Faber Castell polychromos, that's what they're called. 
pinks, yellows, purples, and the, the, the greens and the blues, and then we got earthy colours, like the, the browns and the peaches. Oh, we got blooming metallics as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's the pencils. Oh, oh that is a pencil. <laughs> I don't know, I'll do it shorter. Bong off! You're killing the shot! I think it was quite apparent from that little short clip of me unboxing them that I was ecstatic. I was over the moon about getting these pencils because I have been wanting them for such a long time and I really do think they are amazing pencils. I know there's um, also Prismacolor pencils which are kind of on the same league as the Faber-Castell are the same in quality. I think the, the Polychromo pencils, what am I saying? No, the Prismacolor pencils I think have a softer colour bit, lead which means you have to sharpen it a bit more often, which is one of the main reasons I went for the Faber-Castell Polychromos instead of the Prismacolors, but I think they're pretty much neck on neck pencils. Um, anyway, very excited about them. I did a little colour swatch thing as you saw before because I just I just wanted to see all the colours all nice and pretty on a piece of paper. <laughs> Getting back on with the usual content, uh, back on with the painting of the animals. I just thought it'd be nice for you to see something a bit different so it wasn't just all pets and I thought, um, pencils would be quite exciting because um, to me pencils are very exciting and hopefully you will find them as exciting as I do. I'm a bit addicted to looking at art supplies and stationery. The best part of a shop in my opinion, the stationery I love it. Um, right, so here we are, I'm painting a cat of course because this is cat week. This one is so cute, I think this is one of the cutest cats I've painted. Its eyes are just so wide and it makes it cute because its eyes are just blowing massive and they suck you right in. I suppose I should probably mention I'm no longer doing these pet portraits. I mentioned in my last video that I only had a few more available and after that it's done. I'm not doing them anymore and they got scooped right up so yeah I'm currently not doing any more. I've still got a lot to get through. I've got about two more weeks worth of painting cats and dogs to do and then I'll be finished with all of my orders for them. If you want, if, if you would like one, unfortunately, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not doing them anymore. Maybe in the future at some point I will do them again, but just I'm starting uni in how many weeks now? Four weeks I'm starting uni. Obviously I don't want to be doing pet portraits whilst I'm at uni. I might do them again in the future, but it'll probably be a very long time until I am doing them. Oh, look at my shirt blowing about in the wind. It's a, it has been very hot this week. That's why I was on a different table a few clips ago because I had to go down to the kitchen to paint because my room is like a sauna. I had the fan on, I've got the window open all week. It's been a hot one. And for this cat, I went for a nice light blue background which I thought looked very nice against because it was quite an orange cat and um, orange and blue complement your colours so the blue helped make the cat pop. Getting my pencils out, look how cute my pencils looked! They look so adorable all tucked up next to each other. Uh, I don't know if they'll stay that organised for, for long in the colour order in a nice gradient. They might get a bit mixed up as time goes on but I'd like to try and keep them all that organised. Uh, I think this cat's really cute, this is one of the, the, the favourite ones I've painted actually, I think the background really, really pops. Here's something a bit different for you to see me doing. I was running low on stickers, you know, the stickers that I use to package my orders. So I thought I'd make a big batch of them. Just use my printer to, to print them out and I just used some old label sheets that we've had lying around the house for, for years. But because they are label sheets, if you if it prints off, they kind of, you know, like it kind of cuts them off and it just kind of ruins them a little bit. So I tried again using a different print setting and some of them were okay. Some of them were kind of still getting cut off at the bottom. This would be a lot easier if I had just plain sticker sheets without the, the without it being cut into rectangles. So I went back to the drawing board and reorganised them all on Photoshop, made them a tiny bit smaller um, and squished them together a bit more to hope that they won't be on that in between line and it worked, yay! <laughs> I then spent the rest of the evening, I spent a good two hours just cutting out stickers. To be honest I quite like tasks which are just a bit repetitive, turn your brain off sort of thing, although by the end of it my wrist was really hurting. It's like the same feeling, you know when you're a kid and you're on the 
the swing and you've been on the swing for ages and then when you finally get off and you have to like uncurl your hands and it really hurts it was the exact same feeling with my wrist after I'd finished cutting all of these but I got myself a good stash um, some of them which printed a little bit odd I ended up saving them and just putting them on like the outside of envelopes as decoration because I didn't want to waste them I wanted to just make a bunch of stickers because when I go to uni mum's going to be looking after my Etsy shop for me and obviously I don't want her worrying about having to cut stickers or cut cardboard or make them little corner things that I put on the on the prints so I want to make sure I'm fully stocked up before I go to uni because obviously she's doing me a massive favour by looking after my shop for me when I go so I just want to make it as easy as, as, as possible for her. Back to packing, back to good old packing. Got some prints orders and I also had to pack the painting that I did of the cats. I had someone ask me in the last video where I buy them little corner pieces from that I put on the on the edges of the prints, um, but I actually just make them. What I do is I just fold up a piece of card around a corner and tape it and then cut it to shape because I need to maximize how do I word this maximize the safety no what's the word I just want to maximize how safe my prints are when they're getting sent off for in in the packaging in the world of the post people I want to make sure it stays safe and doesn't get bent but I also need to minimize costs because I can't be spending a bunch on packaging because I don't really have the money to spend because I quite like to get the fancy envelopes which have um cardboard in the back like the do not bend envelopes but they're really expensive so I have to just beg steal and borrow cardboard and do what I can with what I've got to make them to make sure they get to where they need to go as safely as possible there we go that's how to word it and so that's that the corner pieces have definitely helped because I used to not do that and I feel like when I send them off now with the corner pieces they're much safer oh you see that little orangutan print there I was really worried that no one would want it because, well, this this is the first time it's ever sold a print and I was like, oh, nobody wants my orangutan, boo hoo hoo. When I finally got an order for my little orangutan, I was over the moon, I was like, yay, somebody actually wants it. Because some prints sell a lot better than other prints, I know my peaches sells really well, my postcards do sell quite well, and then there are other prints like that orangutan which don't really sell very well, it's just a learning curve I suppose, because whenever you buy prints it's, you just never really know how many people are actually going to want it. Um, the landscapes do alright as well, they're the most popular ones but it's just a learning curve like I said to know what sells and what doesn't. Moving on to the final painting you'll see me doing in this video and of course it's another cat because it's cat week. Uh, it's not the final video I did, what? Got my words really mixed it up then. It's not the final painting I've done this week. I've, I've since done another painting after I've stopped recording all the clips for this video and I'll probably do another painting tomorrow. So I'll probably get two more paintings done this week but the video was getting long enough as it is so I just finished with this one. These videos are getting so long lately. I remember back in the day I used to think when I did a five minute video that that was quite long and now I'm here doing nearly 20 minute long videos. Wowza, hope you like these longer videos videos you don't find them boring <laughs> I usually prefer longer videos they're the ones I like to watch most so hopefully you do too Right, so I finished painting, uh, here we go, this is it, I'm doing a bit of real time speaking right now because I thought it'd be nice to take you along whilst I'm coming up with background ideas but I'm going to take you on over to the screen recording and uh, uh, I'll carry on from there Hold on, let me just connect my, uh, my drawing tablet up here we go in there we go uh so she did mention to me in an email that she liked the color palette of this painting i did she also said to me feel free to if you think something looks nicer why not you know give it a go so i'm gonna give her a couple options including that color palette and we'll see which one she likes the best and if you hear any background noise it's because the fan's on and my window's open because it's, it's warm and my dad's also in my room he's helping me cut you know them little corner pieces that i've got on my orders cutting corners he's cutting corners for me because he's a he's a love isn't he first off let's just try the color palette that she quite likes i kind of left the body down here a bit of a mess if i'm being honest but I just figured I'll paint over it when it comes to the background. Sometimes I do like wiggly shapes around the pet and sometimes I do like a square. And it just depends which one I'm feeling. I'll also do like a couple options for the person who buys it. I usually give like a square option or a wiggly option. Sometimes it takes me a while to figure out what shape I actually want around the pet. Some 
come it comes quite easily and other times I just can't figure out a nice shape mm, don't know if I like that shape let's get rid of it and try again <laughs> okay so I've come up with this thing I just went for a just went for a square don't really know how I feel about it I think once I jazz it up with some classic rainbows and some patterns it might look a bit nicer but I think this is gonna be one of those pets which just takes a couple of tries to get a background which I like some pets it comes really easy and I can I can have a background design like a couple like a good free background designs in like 20 minutes and other ones I'm slaving away over just one which I don't really like for like half an hour colour pick that have the classic uh, patterns out and about jazz it up a bit you know what I might even do I'm gonna take my lighter colour and just blob it on here elegant touch elegant touch sometimes I like to just add blobs of whichever colour I'm doing for the background inside the, the actual painting of the cat just as a helps to a uh, what's that word what's that word dad cohesive it helps make the background and the cat cohesive you just add little blobs of whichever colour so I could even add a little blob of that lighter blue into the eye just a tiny little blob of that in what did I do in this one? We had a couple rainbows and a couple stars. So I was plonk a few stars about. Couple rainbows. Oh, I've had a couple rainbows. I used to do one above the head, in between the gap between the ears, because I feel like it just needs filling because it's quite an awkward space. I don't want to put another rainbow. I feel like down here would be a nice place. Be gone, star. Let's put a rainbow in. Okay, I feel like it's still missing something. Oh, that's what it's missing. It's missing a good two line combination here and here and then down here. Bing bong. Like I say, I like to add the colours from the background into the pet a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now, get to go in with maybe three more designs and then I'll come back after I've done that. Okay, so I've finished coming up with ideas. I've come up with so I've given them two options, usually what I like to do is two options for shapes and then maybe like three colour options. So these are the two shape options and then I did a yellow version which looks quite cute and then a pink version which again I also think looks quite cute. I think though my favourite out of all of these is probably this one here. Right so that's it, I will see you in the morning when I am going to paint this background and hopefully the person has decided on which one they want me to do. See you in a sec. Finally here I am painting the background. She did ask me, well she ended up going for that dark green painting, um, dark green background design but she asked me to make the green a little bit lighter so I did that for her and I think this turned out really cute actually with a light green background with pops of yellow and orange. I love a good pop of yellow and orange, I do that for a lot of paintings actually. I really like the, the three little blobs I've done on the sides which you'll see me do in a second. They really help add a bit of pizzazz to it. Getting to the end of the video now, I really hope you enjoyed watching it and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video because I know these are very long videos, they do drag on a little bit so thanks for sticking around if you did. I'll see you soon. <laughs>